If you forked over the cash for Apple's HomePod and are looking for ways to get more out of it besides the built-in service integrations, try streaming audio directly from your Mac or Apple TV. On a Mac, streaming to your HomePod is simple. First, make sure that your HomePod and Mac are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then just click the speaker icon in the menu bar and choose your HomePod from the list of connected devices. Anything and everything playing on your Mac should start streaming to your HomePod. You can actually stream to two HomePods at the same time through the iTunes app. Just click the AirPlay icon and click the checkbox next to each HomePod. The Airfoil app does the same thing, except you get a lot more options for customization, and you can use the Airfoil satellite app to stream audio to two HomePods from your iPhone. For an in-depth look at the Airfoil app, click the card above. Connecting your HomePod to an Apple TV works best if you have at least a 4th generation Apple TV, since these later models support tvOS 11. The 3rd gen model will work, but with limited connectivity. Head into your settings, go to audio, and then choose HomePod as your output. For 4th gen and Apple TV 4K, simply swipe down on the Apple TV remote while playing content to reveal the info panel. Slide over to audio, and then select your HomePod. If you have tvOS 11 installed, there's a new shortcut that makes it easy to connect to HomePod straight from the home screen. Just hold down the pause button on the Siri remote and the new AirPlay menu will pop up. There are a few Siri voice controls you can use with the HomePod, but they're limited to things like pause and play, adjusting volume, and skipping forward or backward during playback. So is this a good alternative to a traditional home entertainment system? No, not yet. There are quite a few issues with AirPlay. For example, Apple TV automatically delays the image to sync playback with HomePod, creating a delay whenever you pause and play content. AirPlay also requires you to manually reconnect to HomePod every time the speaker plays from a different source, including its built-in Apple Music ability. These issues and others should be fixed once AirPlay 2 sees release later this year. In addition, AirPlay 2 will allow users to pair two HomePods in a stereo setup that could be connected to Apple TV. Considering HomePod's incredible sound reproduction, a sync pair might be able to compete with many traditional home stereo systems. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.